sparkle. So I, I picked this up because I wanted this for certain. So at any rate, I uh, have $100 profit, but look at these poof sleeves. So you know what? I think our Kate Spade could wear it. So let's do that as well. And they don't wrinkle. So the I've been working about eight years importing Italian cashmere wraps. And then I have exited my full-time financial advisor career, got sidelined with an eye injury. I am doing something I love, which is thrifting. And I'm going to show you, we're gonna have, this is a thrift haul video. I'm just finishing up with my remodel of my house, which is another thrifted project and salvage project, which we'll talk about on another video. This one will be clothing primarily. Another video, I will, the next week I will do home goods and we'll just go from there. So it should be fun. First, here's my Goodwill bags. Goodwill here in Encinitas Pier, first of all. And, I, and it's springtime, so I'm kind of excited about color. This is a Columbia windbreaker. So it's a great length um, and a great color. Got the, the hood up here. This one I purchased for, I think, nine, $9. I expect to sell it for $35 fees and, and time to um, get it put, uh, put up on Poshmark. Next item that I got is a color that I love. And you will see me over the years um, wearing this color. This was $14.99. It's a large, it's a women's large. And it is, um, the brand name is Caslon. So it's a size large. It's a nice vent in the back, drawstring, which is always great. Good pockets, good sleeves. I'm going to put this on my form here. Got some color back in this corner. $14.99, this is what I think when I pick up things thrifting. If, if I can make $25 on each item, 32 is my favorite number, so sometimes I work with that number. Oops. Next is a great summer color, and it is a heavy duty men's Tommy Bahama cotton sweater, size large. Um, but when you find great things like this, look at the detail on the waist and the wristbands. This Goodwill, $14.99. Again, if I can net a $25 profit, then that's where I will put it. Um, sometimes they might sell more than that. Uh, if it sells in a pack, in a, it might sell for less than that. This shirt is something I love. This is the boyfriend shirt, right? If you look, you can see that. Measure up custom made shirts, measure up cotton shirts, uh, monogrammed on the cuff. And uh, it's what you would throw on if you had to run out and make coffee in the morning or uh, answer the door for someone. And then it's like, oh, this old thing, but you've got a, you've got a nice pop-up collar. You can see the size of the, the men's sizing on the back. But uh, it's a great shirt, really, just a great shirt. You got nice double buttons on the on the sleeves, and they're stiff as well. I think it's Ramy. Pretty sure it's Ramy. It's a loft, large, petite, but it doesn't even it doesn't look that petite. I've already taken pictures of this and put it up on Poshmark. The uh, it was four ninety nine. It is oh, it's hundred percent acrylic, so it will wear wear well. This is the hard thing for me because I like silks, cottons, natural fibers, but they are making some nicer ones now that aren't um, so much of a problem. This was darling. This skirt, I don't use to buy smaller sizes. I like to buy something that I think I would wear, but I could not pass this up. Look how sweet this is. Oh my gosh. Look at the detail on the side. US zero. Vanessa, Virginia. Darling details here on the inside. How cute our little zipper is the contrasting ribbon anyway i just thought it was darling couldn't pass it up little contrast zigzag stitching we all did you learn to zigzag when you were younger uh, next thing i got was this little this is not something i would normally pick up but it's not it's not even going to show up well in this but it is a little dress new with tags xl body conscious with the but great sleeves i mean look at these sleeves and a, a nice neckline uh, not necessarily for me 
for someone in my 60s, but as someone who's learning to make a living reselling things, I'm quite happy with this dress because new with tags always sells well for me. Found this glittery uh, gold sweater, stripes down the back. This was $11.99, it's an Ann Taylor, uh, and it is, oh, it's an Ann Taylor large. I try to pick up things that I would wear uh, and that are in my size, with notable exceptions, as I've said today. But I just thought this was delightful. There's the back of it, there's the front of it. When you want a little sparkle, but you don't want to do the full sparkle. Then, as I'm walking around in sort of like um, Laura, Le Left Coast Revivals, talks about when you find a single glass in the home goods section, keep looking because sometimes you'll find its mate. Well, I found the matching um, Ann Taylor size large sleeveless sweater. Great detail on the back, excellent condition. There is one little spot on the front of it, but I'm certain I can get that out. This was $9.99. I think I will sell them individually. Just thought this was so sweet. My, my silk shirt is a, maybe an Ann Taylor, but it was thrifted. Um, I'd seen this beautiful ad, I wish I could find it, for, um, it had this woman walking on some street in Florence, I believe, in Italy. And, and she's walking along and they're just filming her and her blouse is just blowing in the breeze. And I, and I went to go look at it because I was very intrigued by the ad, $170. The next day I'm out thrifting and sure enough, here's a, it's got a nice collar. It's got a three button cuff. I like to undo my cuffs when I wear blouses. It's been enough years in the corporate world. The next thing, let me hold it up first, a hoodie, right? Whoops, hold it back here. Get this cute little acorn on the back. It's a Jackson Hole, Wyoming brand. Super nice detail, really well-constructed garment. It is Steo, Jackson Hole, Wyoming, women's large. I thought this was something, it's unusual, the color's unusual, but as I'm in the middle of a construction project, and you can hear a little bit of that in the background, my sheet rocker is here tonight. It's not something that's particularly flattering on me. I loved, when you're looking at something and you see little trim details like this, you see little trim details like this, and nice zip contrast zippers, I'm certain this will sell. So. If I bought it for 11, $12, let's say. I bought it for 12, so if I make a 24, plus a couple, I, I would suspect that I, this will sell for, the comps I looked at were 30 to 40, so somewhere in that range. Last weekend was St. Patrick's Day, and so I went up to Ventura with my girlfriends, had a blast. And uh, so I thought, well, I know I could wear something boring, but I know these girlfriends. Becky and Irene, and I know that they will, they will dress up and do it up. We were walking with the pipe band in the Ventura St. Patrick's Day Parade. I knew they would be wearing short-ish skirts. I went thrifting and for $4.99, I got this little number. And it's a loft size, oh, medium. Um, nice thick uh, waistband. I'll put a picture in here, we had a blast. But I knew that I am short-waisted and I knew that I was going to wear tight. This was $4.99, so that was covered. I looked for anything green, anything plaid, anything festive that would be dressy enough to suit my taste to no avail. Uh, I'm not gonna wear a kiss me, I'm Irish. But I did find, I came across in my thrifting closet, which is out in my garage through the remodel. I did find this beautiful Nippon Boutique green jacket. It is, look at the detail on the front of this. But uh, I'll, I'll post a photo up here because I did have it. Um, I had taken all the photos for this to, uh, to sell it. But look, even the detail on the buttons, the wrapped, fabric wrapped buttons, um, stitched beautifully. And when you snap it up, um, you've got, look at this detail in the back. Look at this, can you see that? Whoops, let me hold it up this way. There's the back and there's the front. I wore this, put it on. I'm going to list it in my, sh in my store. It's great for spring. It's got black, so you could wear it with, you could wear it with black silk, a silk bias cut skirt, bias cut dress. It's got a beautiful, and you have details like this that pull it down into the waist. This is a size 12, 
and I am a good and proper size 12 across the shoulders. I have bigger shoulders than I have hips, although my hips are good size too. I'm, I'm a 12, 10, 12 in pants, 14 if it's shorts. I, I look for things in my, in my size range because as we go through this, I would think that you would look to me as somebody that's in her 60s as well and has similar tastes to what you might look for. But these were wild, look at these. A neighbor of mine came over and he said, can I try those on? Can I buy those? Look at these pants. Let's see if I can get back far enough to show these to you. Look at that. Ha <laughs> ha, a little bit of a bell bottom. They are, they are not a prestigious brand. Actually, I looked them up, the brand, online after I bought them. Not that I really care because I just think they're wonderful. Oh, they are new with tags. They are cider. Your closet's happy hour. This is definitely my closet's happy hour. They're a little too small for me though. They are, I think retail, they weren't, they weren't much over a hundred dollars, but I just think that you can't always find stuff like this. So sometimes when somebody really wants something cool and retro, I think I should be able to get 45 to $55 for these. And I just think they are wonderful and someone is going to flip over these. Anyway, that was what these are. I think these are a great find, a great style find. One of the things that is part of my reason for talking about thrifting in our 60s is that I think it's important for us to see what what we could do with it and it's not just that it's not always uh, a financial sensibilities it's also it's about slow fashion and um, there's a stylist that i really admire named Alyssa beltempo i'll put her link down below as well and she's fantastic but she just talks about slow fashion about the idea of not going out and being a consumer Locally, I, there's two different thrift stores that I really like that are that support animals. Another one, the one that I just went to today and got a couple more things that I'll show you, is Hospice Resale. They have beautiful art. I love their art. And Community Resource Center. Those are the local ones for me. And then obviously Goodwill. I knew Goodwill as a kid, right? I knew they teach people how to like repair how to repair appliances back in the day. Now appliances are kind of meant, made to be disposable. But I was looking for a book and I saw one of the used vendors was Goodwill of Colorado or Denver or something. I thought, well, shoot, that's great. They're teaching people how to sell things online, which I thought was fantastic. I also used another app called Thrift Books, another great way to pick up secondhand books from resellers like me or like you maybe possibly and pay it forward a little bit and 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 experience our world of that we can find things instead of having to have more things made and tax our our, our systems all the more so all right this was also a goodwill oh this was my so this was my saint patrick's day this was my backup saint patrick's day in case it was too hot I brought this with me, which is darling. It's new with tags. It's just a made in Mexico, Izali, Izali, Hecho in Me Mexico, 100% Nino linen. Great line. It's got, you've got some shaping in the back and some nice darts in the front, which always help me have a waist. <laughs> this beautiful white blouse. Look at these cuffs. Oh, there you go. You can see these cuffs, right? Her name is Farinaz Taghavi. It's a size 12 made in Canada. Look at this collar in the back. Nice, nice shaping, beautiful fabric. I don't know if you can see, I don't know if you can see the, the, the tailor in it. And the, even look at the buttons. The buttons are spectacular. Well, I'll put a close up. Was really excited about this. This sold new for like $298. I looked at it, looks like it's been carefully cleaned. And then I did find one spot on it. So I'll just take it to my cleaners. These buttons have beautiful painting on them of, of a vine. Then as I'm walking through, found something I don't usually pick up, but um, shorts. But look how cute. Since I was in the linen mood, very cute uh, linen shorts for someone much younger than me. 
what was it, the fingertip thing? Is that what it was? Like our shorts had to be longer than our fingertips. But they are this brand, Dylan, and I looked them up and I, they will sell well for me. I paid $6.99 for them, seven bucks. If I can sell them for 25, every time I look at it, I just think, if I make $20, it's like picking a $20 bill up off the ground at the thrift store. This is a staple and I guess I buy staples. I know I don't use them for work any longer, but I know there's women out there that do. This is a beautiful Jones of New York, 100% wool, worsted wool, size 14. Just a, just a nice sage green skirt. One that would go below below my uh, fingertips. So this was $9.99. Here's what I hope. I want to make double the price of the item in profit plus my overhead. So when I'm looking at things like that, that's what I think. Okay, this is wonderful. Well, and you'll recognize the color theme. This is a color I do wear a lot. And this is a it's a size, is it a 12 or a 14? On jackets, because I prefer to wear them big, I like them in bigger sizes. It is a size 12, it is linen and rayon, which is one of my favorite combinations. Uh, linen gives it a better flow, gives a better flow to the fabric. I'll have fun putting in all of these, uh, the details, but I just thought I would throw it on. And one of the things that I've said before, and you'll hear me say again, is that um, anytime you can try a color or a line, it's a longer jacket on me, and I love to wear that with a pair of like fitted jeans. Little pockets in the front, a breast pocket, and then it has these buttons that are sort of dated, but I'll show you what I picked up in, up in Ventura at this lovely eco shop. This jacket sold for $12.99, I purchased it for $12.99, but I think it's one I'm gonna keep. However, I did buy, some eco buttons it's called plant ivory so uh, for a dollar a piece at this little ecuadorian shop on main street um, so i will they feel like ivory or shell but they're actually nuts i love pearls if you know me you know that or if you've followed me for any length of time so i was searching for my perfect st patty's day outfit and well, and also I like to buy pearls to resell. Faux or, these are faux, obviously. They are wonderful. And so I wore them with my St. Patrick's Day jacket. Here's a photo. And uh, they were fantastic. So I bought these for $9.99 based on what I see and the people that I think I can make a profit on these. And um, they're so nice. After drinking, we decided to go shopping. And Ventura is a place where if you say thrift stops near me, there are multiple so I found some scarves, which I was really happy with. I found this one and I know it might not look like much, but it's very, it's definitely vintage. The only kind of scarves that I buy are if you have the hand rolled hems and they're silk. So it's still phrased differently than others. Like you can kind of see, they're almost like hairs. But um, I just thought with 4th of July coming up, this will be great in, in a ponytail in someone's hair as a headband or um, on, tied on your purse. So 4th of July, I figured that's coming soon enough. But found this other one, which is not really my style. Not so much the romantic roses and all of this, but it is silk. And look at this little pink trim. I just thought it was fantastic. This makes me wanna throw it on and wear it. So at any rate, I think, I don't think I know. One of the things that Oh, another way you can do it too is if you've got it like this and you don't want to be so brave and wear it out, fully out, just tuck it down and unbutton another extra button and you've got, you've got, a, 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 you've got a fun look. Oh, um, if it's a color you like or a pattern you like, I'd better button myself up before I um, pull out the next one. But this, I don't think this one had a name. This one was $3.99 as well these little sunflowers in the middle and roses are in little loops around the edge so this one $3.99 so that will be coming to my online store and then then I found this one and this one I do like it's got navy on the edges and then it's got this green band and in the green band I don't know if you can see it but a lovely little watermark pattern that's not water damage 
Um, but the girl, we looked this up, my girlfriends and I, while we were in there. Um, I'm trying to think if it has her name on it. And this one was $8.99. I thought it had her name, but we found it easily by taking a picture of it. So it sold for $200 new. It's not that old, but it's very, they still sell well for like $60. Oh man, this one is just such a luscious, rich red. I am such a fan of, of this blue red rather than a orangey red because for me, with all the pink I have in my face, this is the only way I can wear red. But it's got this beautiful cream colored rolled hem. And then the last thing that I was gonna show, and actually I pulled this out of my vintage, uh, my resale stack, because this is um, a silk tie, whether you did it around your he head or did it here, or as I did, I tied it on my purse. So there's just lots of ways to, to the one thing about thrifting and the thing I want to encourage you guys to do, use thrifting as a place to experiment, to find that looks like something I like. I'm not sure what I think about it, but for $3.99 or $8.99, you can try and something lovely. If you've noticed, all of these are lovely fabrics because it's the fabric and the color that speak to me. I wear primarily solids, which is why I love scarves because I can add a little dash of color or a little, I can make a statement with the pattern. Because my house is nearing completion, I'm starting to allow myself the luxury of shopping again to sell. Here's my third stop. This was at hospice uh, thrift store and this dress, oh my gosh, when you pick it up. Remember in the days when they would pick up dresses in, in uh, parties. This one is a Silvia Cesarisi, and it's a gorgeous dress. And if you look at it, let's see, I'm not sure how much you can see. It's spectacular. It sells at Bergdorf Goodman for $2.98. Doesn't really feel like it's even been worn. Surely has not been laundered. But uh, it was for $68 on sale for 20% off. I think I can uh, have $100 profit, but look at these poof sleeves and it shows it, but these darling poof sleeves in the back is, it's just a button and then a, and a different color underlayment, a different, and then zippered and a, uh, and a cute, a cute line with a little more detail on the front. I'm just super excited about this because this is, it's my colors, it's not my style, it's not necessarily, I think it's worn off the shoulder. So not necessarily something that I would wear, but surely something I will be proud to put in my shop. And it is a size small, it's a size small, but it's darling and so springy and fun. I'm happy about that one. Um, next thing, ooh, was almost as exciting. And for the same reason, uh, for the same reason because it is a, uh, I, may, I should be able to read it now, Florence Broadfoot for Kate Spade. Again, this was 40, what was it, 48? Got $8 off, $40. And I think I can make that again. But look at this sweet, sweet silk dress. Flowy, beautiful print, nice scarf detail. I'm really quite excited about this and all its luscious silkness. I'll put this on the naked mannequin so she has something to wear. But it was, I just, I just thought the colors were too fun. A nice, nice brand name when you've got a designer making it for Kate Spade. Got this lovely scarf detail along the neckline. You can bring it forward and uh, there she is. So I'm excited about that one. Um, got a little Nike running uh, t-shirt. I love the color. I may keep it. <laughs> I don't run anymore. I, I, I had toasted my knees from all the running, but it's a great little t-shirt and it's like new, never been worn. Uh, I think I picked it up for $5 so I can, I can like, I can resell that and make some profit on it. I was going through the men's department and when I travel, I bring cashmere to wear, but I also bring cashmere to sleep in, oversized things that will keep me warm or to throw over as a layer. And I found this men's, it's a estate cashmere, club room, extra large, the two ply, two ply is, is thick enough that, because a lot of European towns um, do not have 
uh, great, or not just towns, sorry, the homes do not have great heating. And I like to travel in the off season. I'd much prefer to have to bundle up. It's great to th be able to throw over anything, a little brown silk shirt, and know that you'll be warm. I am not a fan of being cold. Anyway, I got this, and I was super happy. I think it was $24, it was in the men's section. So it's super, oh my gosh, it's so nice and thick. And you know, much as we take good care of our cashmere, sometimes those moths get to it. I have, so I can trade out. It's another thing I do. I, I know I have a blue sweater, form-fitting, and I, as, I, as I'm aging gracefully, I'm enjoying things that are, have a, a, a larger fit, not a larger fit, a roomier fit, right? Because I know how comfortable this would be. So this was $24, basically 20 bucks, 19 something. Super happy about that. I could always sell it if I wanted to, but that's one that I will keep for myself. Then along the spring fling, do you think there's a theme here? I just picked a few of these. These were $6 each. Got a nice, a nice um, magenta pink sleeveless sweater top. And one of the things, and I, I don't have one here, but one of the things that I do when I pick up, like I pick up cashmere or, oops, cashmere or woven silk sleeveless tops like that, and sometimes they're even a little sheer, but they make the most comfortable sleep tops. And, and then I, and I just hand wash them and hold, lay them out to dry. And, uh, and they serve me well and they're so comfortable and you feel kind of sexy and fun. Anyway, another, just a sweet little cotton printed spring t-shirt. It's knitted though, so it's a top. It's a knitted top. And then I, as long as I was looking for colors because I had a little error with my video. I am a type one diabetic, a juvenile diabetic and my alarm wanted to let me know something and it kicked me out of my video very rude anyway i am a solid colors fan since i was already down the pathway of solid colors this is spring colors this is evie it's extra large it's silk and rayon viscose vic, vis, viscose what is, how do we say it in italy viscosa viscosa and nylon but i really like these blends when you've got some silk some silk for the softness rayon for the for the flounce uh, for the flowiness of the fabric and then a little nylon to make it last it's a good effect oh although you know what i think our kate spade could wear it so let's do that i think our kate spade could wear it last item was this beautiful jacket this jacket is it's a uh, three-quarter length beautiful stitching beautiful stitching on the lapel you can see that there. Beautiful slate blue, gray blue. Matches my eyes. I just love it. It's a size eight though. It's uh, epic New York. I have to say something about polyester because as a child of the 70s, polyester and I did not have a fond relationship. And so I have always been silks, cashmeres, cottons, linens, rayon, any of that you know, feels good to me, looks good. I like how it feels and flows. Well, the one thing as a traveling jacket um, is that polyester is your friend. I will show you over time when, as I do some more traveling um, videos, um, some of my uh, favorite traveling uh, wardrobes because this jacket, you can fold over your arm, right? It's a little small for me to just put it over my shoulders, but if it's a Sunday morning and you got a pair of jeans, and long sleeve t-shirt and you're going out to meet girlfriends or going out to brunch with your husband or your kids, you can throw on a three quarter length jacket like this, put it over your shoulders and just carry it. Then you've got it if it gets cold, take it off and throw it over your arm. But they travel well and they don't wrinkle. So the fine polyesters, I never thought I would say those words. I'm certain I never thought I would say those words. Fine polyesters are your friend. This week I will do clothing and, and clothing will post on my Erin Grace website once a month and then it will cross post to um, Poshmark where my store is also Erin Grace. And then the following week uh, will be Home Goods and that will post an Italian Villa vibe both on Facebook, Instagram, 
and then it will post on my Italian Villa Vibe website and that will cross post to Cherish because that's where I sell more things with to designers and uh, and that's fun too. You know, when I used to import the cashmere, when I would import the cashmere scarves, I wanted to have something so that I could legitimately to the IRS every year, look them straight in the eye and say, yes, I really have a business. I do sell things, it works. I want to do this and I, I want you to feel confident that you could try something new, try a crazy fabric that you might not have worn or a line that you might not normally wear. You know, you're gonna pay $5, $10, maybe even a whopping $15, but you'll have beautiful, you'll have beautiful fabrics and you know, like my friend Alyssa, not my friend, I admire her, she's my YouTube friend. She's not in real life yet anyway, but she talks about slow fashion and I would much rather have a beautiful vintage thick silk blouse like this. I think that we can make a difference, we can upcycle, and I hope that you might be interested in, in, in following me. So subscribe and click and that. But, and, and learn how to do this for yourself. And if there's one thing I've learned from watching other women build their online enterprise is that, that the best, the most successful entrepreneurs are teachers. So I hope to be a teacher. Arrivederci. I'll see you soon. And, um, and, and then uh, looking towards a, a vintage shopping trip in now, we've got it the first weekend of October. In, starting in Arezzo. I was going to do it in May, but instruction took the better part of my life for the past little while. So I uh, look forward to continuing the conversation with you and thank you for joining me.